had a friend who had a snake, and I was always, I was always scared of it. That's like the largest group of one group of people that have ever come to visit. Whoa! Whoa! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. As for me, I get to do what I love today, which is share my passion of animals with people. I actually have two tours this morning. We are open at the Reptarium tonight, so we get to hang out with people, just talk about animals, show animals, get excited about animals. I mean, what more can you possibly ask for? Let's say that the next 12, 15 minutes, however long this vlog is, we push our problem aside and just have a great time together. I'm continuing to try to work with my baby rhino iguanas. I tell you what guys, it's not as easy as I thought. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> it's not as easy as I thought it would be. I mean, they are getting better. They definitely are, but it's going to take some time before they become little Bellas, that's for sure. But again, just doing this every day, trying to habituate them to handling, I think is the way to go. I mean, look at how beautiful it is. And this, of course, is Donkey Kong Jr. or Diddy Kong. I don't think we've quite decided. Go down in the comments and let me know what you guys think. Should it be Donkey Kong Jr. or Diddy Kong? I'm not sure. Regardless, he is absolutely amazing. Every time I see Night Fury here, I am just absolutely blown away. It seems like every day it gets bigger and it gets even more beautiful. Oh my gosh, this thing is incredible. And you can see Perdita in the background here. She's pretty spectacular too. I mean, Casper, Perdita, Night Fury all together. What a combination, right? You've got Casper, the pure white snake. You've got Night Fury, the black snake. And then you've got Perdita kind of in between. Oh my God, I love Reticulated Pythons. It's amazing how far Reticulated pythons have come when it comes to paint jobs just in the last 10 or 12 years. My first tour of the day should be here any minute, ready to have a good time with them. How you doing? How's it going? How you doing? Hi, hi, how are you? Hey guys. Hi, it's nice to meet you nice all. Meet Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Hi, where are you guys from? Oh. Oh, okay, great. Well, welcome. Birthday boy. Birthday boy. Happy birthday. Hi. How old are you? 23. 23, all right. Happy birthday. We're going to have a good time, all right? Cool. All right, cool. This amazes me how strong they are, how, mm -hmm. the, how strong they're yeah, I so got my guy Potato here. You said you have a blue tongue of Maruki. Yep. So, uh, so this is you know similar. It's a you know different species, obviously, but similar as far as the blue tongue. These guys are a little more chill, probably than you are. You know, oh, the, yeah. the Marukis are a little bit more feisty. So, mm -hmm. uh, but Potato is amazing. Of course, Belle's always wanting her pets. <laughs> I had my camera laying down and Elvis was absolutely just obsessed with the microphone. He's like, what is that? <laughs> he sees me having the camera a lot, but I don't think he's ever actually been able to get near it where he's smelling it. Right, Elvis, do you like it? Do you like that little fuzzy thing? <laughs> It's just amazing to see a lizard that's just so curious and has absolutely no fear whatsoever. He's definitely way more active than the white one, than Casper. You mentioned that you want to get a carpet python for your next snake. You have a, a Mojave and a skink now, so there you go. This is Darwin. He's actually a Centralian carpet python. Uh, one of the bigger species of carpet pythons, to be honest with you, but also known to be one of the tamer ones, to be honest with you. So, uh, He's a, he's a beauty. Sweetie the blood python is doing absolutely incredible. And it's cool that you can handle him now just like no problem. It's not all the time that you can take out a big blood python and just know that it's gonna be bulletproof and not bite anyone. So Sweetie is doing really good. All right guys, thank you so much for coming. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Happy birthday to thank you. you. Uh, happy birthday in just a little while to you. Yeah. So thank you guys. Merry thank Christmas, okay? Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so thank much, you. Bye. Christmas. Bye. Thanks for having me. I always say like the whole idea of my tours is not only to educate, but to also have people have a great time. I just want people to leave and go, oh my God, that was so amazing. That is my goal, is to just make it that type of experience. And I'll be honest with you, as much as I want people to enjoy it, I really enjoy it. I get an opportunity to pull animals out that I'm excited about, and we share each other's stories and stuff like that. So first tour done, absolutely incredible. What a really great family. And I know I always say that, but it's really true. Every time I have people come, I'm just like, oh, such great people. We have one more tour that's gonna be here any minute, and then we have maybe an hour before the Reptarium opens, and then we have five hours of fun at the Reptarium tonight, open to the public. I had a really quick uh, package sent to me today, so I wanted to go ahead and show you what it was. It actually says, absolutely love following your videos. My five-year-old son always noticed that you wear a bunch of funny shirts, so uh, we wanted to send you one for your collection. Keep being amazing, Kirsten Gonzalez and her son. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, let's go ahead and see what this shirt is. Okay, so we have 
never forget of course we have a floppy disk a vhs and a cassette so thank you so much and by the way i love crazy shirts so if you so happen to choose to send me a crazy shirt i'll put my p.o box in the description or you can send it to the reptarium the address is on the website so uh thank you kirsten i really do appreciate it all right so my next crew is here uh, i've got the birthday girl here with sunrise we're gonna have an absolutely amazing time uh let's get started what's the first snake you've ever <laughs> held i take it right Actually, no. I had a friend who had a nope. snake, and I was always, I was still always scared of it. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're doing so good. You did good. Hello. She's strong. She's grabbing my really hand. Really, Ruben. Hello. Hi. Hi. Like, I just like So we have potato out, flaming hot Cheeto out. We have the ball python out, and we had an alligator out. Uh, it's going well. I've been chilling. Oh, he's killing you. What up? What up, toothless? Oh, toothless. <laughs> it is so I know, funny. but still. <laughs> Who are you wearing on the red carpet? A snake? Yeah. <laughs> you hold it? I just yeah, I want to. I'm ass. terrified. <laughs> if I lay down, if you can just crawl over my face. Do it. Oh, that's the first time I've seen a speedy crawl on somebody. And, and also, like. We are wrapping up here. Thank you guys for coming. Happy birthday to you. Uh, come back and see me anytime. By the way, I'm impressed this guy here. Uh, he, he went from being a little bit uh, not so. He did really good after. So. Wrapped up that tour, and it's really interesting. I've always said this every tour is so different, and different age groups can be really different. So, I wasn't really sure how this was going to go. When the group first came in, I was like, Are they going to like reptiles? I'm not sure what's going on. A couple of them were a little bit kind of squeamish about it, and then all of a sudden, they just really warmed up and they loved it. It was a really fun group. I mean, really extremely fun. They absolutely fell in love with so many animals, so that was awesome. So, we are just getting together. You can see Kelsey's over here. Hi guys! <laughs> Jessica is working away as always. Bruce just showed up, so he's getting things together. We only have less than an hour before we open for the Reptarium for the night, so we have a lot of work to get done. Every once in a while, I want to keep on giving you guys updates on these amazing gray banded king snakes because every time I look at them, I just think they get prettier and prettier. Take a look at this. I mean, it's really crazy, and it was funny when we were down in Florida. Noah actually saw the banded rock rattlesnakes, which don't look like the Blair's gray bands, but they do look like the Alterna gray bands. And he was like, like, oh my god that is so cool he goes i think i need to see those gray bands some more because they are absolutely crazy i guess it's just i'm always so blown away by mother nature i mean take a look at this no block eye or what they call a taro humera mountain king snake i mean that thing is just crazy and that's the thing about snakes i mean there are thousands and thousands and thousands of different types of snakes so you can never get bored i mean even 30 years of working with these guys i still am just amazed every time i look at them take a look at this granite San Luis Potosi king snakes, or what they would call a Max Max. I mean, it's crazy, and really the San Luis Potosi and the Gray Bands are pretty closely related. You can kind of see the similarities, although these guys are a little different, obviously from a different area of the world. These are from San Luis Potosi, whereas the Gray Bands are actually West Texas animals, but nevertheless, just absolutely stunning. I'm so happy that I do something that even after all these years, I never get bored of. I mean, just take a look at this beautiful butter to Sarah Corn Snake. Oh my gosh, these things are so absolutely adorable. Of course, the butter is actually an albino caramel, which is two double recessive mutations, and then the tessera is actually a codominant mutation, which is that pattern mutation. You mix them together, and that's just an absolutely stunning snake. Well, guys, I have a decision to make. The Reptarium's about to open up in about 20 minutes or so, and I just got a call from my buddy David Dobrik. He's out in Chicago, which is about a four and a half, five hour drive. He wants me to come out tonight to do some video stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, it's it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. I've just been traveling like crazy. I'm kind of wore out. Do I drive five hours, go hang out with David because I absolutely love working with him and I love his whole crew? Or do I just hang out at the Reptarium? I know by the time you guys watch it, you're already gonna know what happened, but I don't know what to do. Lori, I have kind of a dilemma. What? I don't know what to do. Dobrik just called. He said he wants me to come out to Chicago. Noah said he would want to go out too so we could hang out with him. But it's obviously, you know, I just got back. I mean, what do you think I should do? You don't want to know what I want. Yeah, tell me what you think I should do. I want you to... Okay, how about this is easier. You tell me what you know I'm going to tell you. Well, you're probably going to say not to go. But, but <laughs> I'm wondering, you know, maybe you say, no, I think it would be a good idea, Brian. You should go out there. Well, you were right the first time. <laughs> What? Well, I, what a, I don't know what to do. I know, you never do. Oh my gosh. Well, you're never any help. 
Thanks. So the Reptarium is open, uh, and it's your birthday. And there's a whole group of people, like 15, 16 people yeah. here. We did oh Dairy gosh. Queen. Oh my God. Right across the street here. Oh my God, that is awesome. That's like the largest group of one group of people that have ever come to visit the Reptarium. So welcome. Definitely a banger night here at the Reptarium, having a really good time. Yeah, Casper, are you doing all right with Casper? Yeah. <laughs> it's <look> good. <laughs> it's all right. It's like I always say, I love people to be able to have like experience at the Reptarium that they can't really have anywhere else. And I can't imagine oh, yeah. where else you can go and hold a little baby albino alligator, right Chip? Yeah. And look what the cat drug in. Noah made an appearance oh, yeah. here at the Reptarium. I What's you act on? like it's rare. I come I, here every day. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, Noah hit 90K today, which means that 10K from now, you're doing the Lucy Challenge, right? Lucy yeah. Challenge, and I get that silver plaque. I've been dreaming about it since I started. Oh, <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's going to get the silver plaque, and then he's not going to last long when he's in with Lucy. So uh, you can only enjoy it for about a week or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, beer day out here. How's it going over here, Kelsey? Going all right, yeah. All right, Super duper. Awesome. Nice. You like her? Yeah. That's awesome. This is our first time holding a snake. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Again, first snake, anaconda. Crazy, crazy. We ended up getting a new tarantula. Is this just on loan, basically, is what it is? Yeah. So it's a male. Um, he was a breeder, but there's no more females. Like, I didn't have, like, another pair for him. Um, so he's only going to live about another year or so. So he ended up letting us do it. This thing is ridiculous. Andrea, what is it called? It's called Pamphibetus species Slamifera. I'm, I don't, wow. I don't know what that even means, but can we see it, do you think? Do you yeah. think we can? Yeah. All right. Oh, no. No, Wait, no, you gotta gonna check pull this it out. out. Seriously, you gotta check. Wait, yeah, you gotta reach in and get it. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Whoa, it's purple. Isn't that crazy? What? Why it's purple. That's not the reptile. Dude, oh, are you my kidding gosh. me? That, that is thing. crazy. Is Yo, I'm actually starting to like spiders more and more. <laughs> That thing is ridiculous. I saw an all blue one on Instagram today. Well, we have a, a blue yeah. one too. Yeah, our Goody Sapphire, yeah. Yeah, Goody Sapphire. Right, maybe that's what it was, I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> that thing is sick, isn't it? That was cool. And again, what is it? It's a Pamphabita Slamifera. What she said. <laughs> Just a little Dobrik update. Me and him have been going back and forth throughout the evening and uh, now it's seven o'clock. It's a five hour drive. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna go out there, but knowing him, I might hear from him anytime. He'd be like, get out here quick. We got some cool things. So uh, still not sure, but I'm leaning towards not heading to Chicago. Wrapping up the night here at Reptarium. It was really an absolutely fun night. Look at Chicken Strip. He is just getting so good. We've been taking him out like literally almost every single day. What an absolute difference in personality. I mean, he's still a little bit weird when you first take him out, but once you get him out for just a little bit of time, he just is absolutely a puppy dog and can just hang out. I mean, literally, sometimes I have him out for like an hour just kind of letting him hang out with me. It is so cool. I mean, look at him. Oh my gosh, I tell you what, I need him to be tame when he's five foot. I don't want Chicken Strip to be another Abasuku, although Abasuku is really not that bad. It's just very food driven, whereas Chicken Strip is just absolutely adorable. And you know, a lot of albinos, including the last albino, Nile that was down in Texas are oftentimes blind, but Chicken Strip seems to see really good. He definitely is always really perceptive of everything going on. Again, I don't know exactly how good his eyesight is. All I know is that I can be all the way across the way. When I come in, he'll come right up and start looking at me. So his eyes must be relatively good. I think if you don't mind, I am going to go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching because your support means the world to me and I truly, truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Smash that like button. You guys haven't been smashing that like button as much as you used to do, so go ahead and do that for me. While you're down there, go ahead and leave a comment so I can read about your beautiful faces. And what the heck, while you're down there, go ahead and turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload a video. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>